polarization. Light is a wave, we know this, but it doesn't come at you in a single stream. It comes at you in many, many, many different streams, all rotated around the same axis. So what you end up getting is this big jumble of waves. Now, what a polarizer can do is a polarizer can even out those waves and separate them in such a way that you end up getting a single stream of light. And this implies a couple of things. For instance, how strong the light comes out after it goes through the polarizer. And this leads us to Malice's Law, which states that the final intensity is equal to the original intensity multiplied by the cosine squared of the angle at which it enters the polarizer. Another law is Brewster's Law, which has to do with refraction and reflection. When light is incident on a plane, which can both refract and reflect light, the light which is reflected becomes polarized, and the light which is refracted becomes slightly polarized, but not completely. The equation for this is sine theta of incident over sine theta of refracted is equal to sine theta of incident over cosine theta of incident, which is also equal to the tangent of the angle of incident. And n is the refractive index. So there are many ways of finding the refractive index here. And finally, optically active substances. An optically active substance is a substance which will rotate the plane of the light passing through it. So here we have a wave of light and it's going to pass through that plane of polarization. And so when it comes through the other end, it'll come out and it rotates. And so what you end up with is a, a wave which rotates as it comes out the other end, as shown here. Common uses of polarization lenses and filters are in the new 3D glasses used in IMAX theater. One lens blocks one such type of light, the other lens blocks the other, and the, each frame on the screen shows a different type of light alternating with every other frame. Another use is in uh, more and more digital cameras are using len uh, polarized lenses to black out the inside of the camera so that the image can be captured properly. More and more satellites used for monitoring the sun are also beginning to use polarized lenses to protect the satellite from the heat emitted by the sun.